The thing that I've always been scared about with being a musician is having people think that I want it to be all about me. It can take me outside of myself. Climbed the mountain and I turned around And I saw my reflection in the snow Covered it with a landslide Brought me down On your For my sixth birthday, I got a tiny plastic guitar and my dad had always played guitar and he would have me and my sisters like on his lap while he'd play in front of us. So I was like, wow, I'm one of the one of the big kids now. And I ran down the batteries in like less than twenty-four hours. And then ever since then I kind of just wanted my own, like a real one that the batteries don't run out. <laughs> My dad and my two sisters and I started singing at church when we were pretty young. I think I was like eight, eight or nine years old. And it started just as like a occasional, like, you know, like, um, like a Christmas service or like an Easter service thing. But then it like turned into um, like a family band. But we pushed each other to all be really good. I never really imagined going off and doing like a solo thing. Like I didn't really think that'd be possible. And then one day I was like a senior in high school and I was like, why not? It was like three weeks before high school graduation. And I realized that I wanted to go down to Nashville and play music. And I had somebody look at me and they were like, why don't you? And then I went down to Nashville, and it was a big wake-up call. Like, I had kind of thought that doing music would be this, like, really glamorous, like, fancy, kind of fast-paced, lifestyle and in reality it's a lot of just like sitting on your own writing playing the exact same song like 50 times until you get it right a week or two after the pandemic had hit in nashville i found out that the restaurant that i played music at and made all my tips at was unfortunately being shut down with no tourists, no job, no way to make any money, I didn't really have any other option but to go to college, because what else was I going to do with my time? Bad night for her. Bad night. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I started at St. Mike's, and I wasn't the most excited to be there. But through finding new music opportunities in Burlington, and through the friends that I made there and all the new connections I made and a passion for environmentalism that I started there, I was able to really fall in love with Burlington and connect back 
to the music side of myself, which I was terrified I'd lose once I left the city. I grew up in a small farm town that has become more and more commercialized over the years. The free grazing cows now live under an acre-wide tin roof. The sunsets are now blocked by developments, gas stations. I can see myself kind of getting involved with that, so taking music but making it almost like an activism route if I could. Now I just take gigs whenever I can just to like help with income. I just get a lot more joy from just playing downtown, like whether there's like one person there or whether there's like 40. Even though I had to leave Nashville, it'll always be a part of my story and a part of why I love music so much. And it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. And I'm still just really grateful I ever got the opportunity to go.